Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be featuring some battles that I did with human catchers bugs team uh, which consists of Shadow, Gligar, Lickitung, and Greedent with the new Mudshot. I don't have a ton of time as you can see I'm dressed to, to teach class so we're just going to go over one set here. I did go um, 16 and 9 overall. This is my second day using it. The first day I went negative but I wanted to give it another try. So I instantly swapped because uh, obviously I wasn't sure if it's going to be Powder Snow or whatnot. And so they actually end up blind switching into the Lickitung as well. I guess they knew that I was going to switch out um, two. Anyways, they come into Dugong. And I'm going to throw the Power Whip uh, at the at the Dugong. I am debuffed, uh, but does do quite a bit of damage. And uh, we'll see how this is going to play out. They will throw the Icy Wind at me. And I'm going to farm up and throw right before they make it to another uh, Icy Wind. And uh, they do end up shielding. And they throw it absolutely perfect timing on, on their side right before I make it to the Body Slam. The Body Slam wouldn't have KO'd though. And they throw the Icy Wind. And I'm going to come in green and I should be able to outpace to the Body Slam and uh, take out the Dugong. And then we'll see how this is going to play out. And I'm assuming they're going to come back in the Nine Tails. I expect them to have like another answer in the back. And I expect it to be a Charm Nine Tails, um, especially since they're running Dugong in the back. Uh, obviously, they want to bait out the fighter. And uh, as you can see, throwing good timing for mud shots to a body slam, super spammy. And uh, they do have the Weather Ball now. They end up shielding. They would have survived the body slam. And they end up throwing another body slam uh, they end up throwing they end up not throwing this body slam doesn't KO and then they come into G-Fest but this is going to be a very straightforward uh, end game for me and the opponent decides to leave the match because there's not really too much they can do I'm only going to showcast one set here because uh, I do have to uh, have to go uh, have to get driving to to the university so kind of a weird lead here and they actually switch out themselves and I'm going to bank some energy bank the dig and then switch out and degree him Maybe I should switch it a little bit faster, but that's quite all right. Um, Dragology is not like too big an issue for, for the team, but unfortunately I get the attack fall, which is so unfortunate for me. Uh, and I throw the crunch. I do get the defense fall in return, but uh, that's not so pleasant on my side, getting a 10% uh, debuff chance. Um, I'm hoping to get this uh, another defense fall. By the way, I'm not going to shield the Greedent, I'm going to let this go. I'm assuming that they're going to Grass Knot me. And then I'm going to look to Wing Attack down with Gligar. I wait the clock here. I probably shouldn't wait the clock because I don't want them to switch out. Um, and that was my mistake there. And they actually come into Obama Snow. I throw the Aerial Ace. And I thought about actually just farming down. Uh, but then I realized, like, oh, I can get more energy off of Lickitung. So I end up shielding here. Uh, bank the dig. Actually, a little bit past the dig. And I lick all the way down. And then we'll see what they decide to come in. They decide to come in with Drug Algae. And I need to throw a good timing. And I throw um, one before they make it to the Outrage. And they decide to shield. I'm going to do two licks and throw another Body Slam at this Drug Algae. This doesn't KO, but it will do quite a bit of damage to them. And kind of a, you know, iffy call, iffy decision here. They end up throwing the Outrage. Um, but I think I would have been okay there, to be honest, uh, because I would have been able to uh, do one wing attack and throw the Aerial Ace. And I had quite a bit of energy on, um, on them. So they actually, I think they blind throw here, expecting me to switch. And then I expected them to blind switch again, blind, expect me to blind switch and throw the aerial ace, but um, end up uh, being okay there. I think it would have been fine either way. All right. All right, going against uh, one of my friends here. Uh, so the way I like to play carving is I like to do eight, then throw the dig. And then I like to switch to Lickitung, hoping that they ca they they blind throw the rock slide into Lickitung. And they do not. They actually end up throwing the moon blast uh, at my Lickitung. And 
They come into Venusaur. I'm going to throw before the Frenzy Plant. At this health range, the Frenzy Plant is pretty close to KOing. Actually, it will definitely KO. And I decide to shield. Um, I decide to shield here just because the carving dumped all its energy. So um, it doesn't have that much shield pressure against me. So anyways, um, I debate how to play this. I end up shielding here. And I throw, I do one like, and then throw the body slam. I guess if I did throw the body slam right away, then I don't take the vine web damage, but they come into Frostlass and uh, they actually gave me the win con here, which was uh, coming into Carbink, letting me land this uh, power whip. I could have undercharged here, but now I'm going to be able to mud shot down this, uh, this Carbink without taking a move. And um, it's actually the perfect amount there. Because I think they were at uh, 8 when I munch-shotted them down. Anyways, uh, throw the crunch. I'm going to be able to easily survive this avalanche. And uh, this crunch doesn't KO because uh, it's a non-stab crunch from a very tanky Pokemon. But there's not really too much that the opponent can do at this point in time. Get the crunch. No defense fall. But they will they will be able to land the avalanche. But I can easily look down or wing attack down. doesn't really matter here. And... I go. I think I go for the wing attack down, and uh, take out the frost less, and we get some friendship. And we come into Charizard. This is a very complicated matchup. Again, I like to throw one before the blast burn, and then switch out to Lickitung, hoping to catch the blast burn onto Lickitung. I had to either give up a shield or take it somewhere. I'd rather take it on Lickitung. And the opponent actually decides to bait here which worked out pretty nicely here, and they come into Lantern. I wasn't sure how they were going to play this, so I decided to go straight Power Whip against this uh, Lantern, hoping that they wouldn't shield. They actually did end up shielding. I let this go. And uh, they throw the Surf. I'm going to throw before they get to the second Surf, just for some tip chip damage. And uh, they will farm up appropriately, so really nice play by them. And then I, I'm assuming this will be a Surf. And then I'll come into uh, Greedent. And I was actually expecting them to Thunderbolt here, uh, which is why I shielded, because I want to preserve some health. But they ended up throwing the Surf at me. And I will do two and throw before they make it to the Dragon Claw. Basically one turn before the Dragon Claw. And I will take out the Charizard. And uh, we will see what's going to come in. I think it's actually a chestnut that comes in. It's a chestnut that comes in. And I switch out. I should have switched out a little bit faster. But this is quite all right. I throw the aerial ace. Uh, which would KO. Uh, double super effective wing attacks are absolutely chunking away. I shield this. Though I probably don't need to shield it. They end up throwing the super power at me. I throw the aerial ace at this uh, chestnut which will take it out and they come into lantern. There's not really too much the opponent can do at this, at this point in time, I'm going to be able to land, uh, the body slam body slam doesn't KO, but it will put them pretty low. Honestly, like one mud shot would be enough to take out, uh, the lantern. Yeah. One mud shot or two mud shots. Greed and smud shots don't do a lot of damage there. And so we have one final game that I want to show here. And but again, you can check out all my battles on twitch.tv slash King Ivy. Again, overall I went 16 and 9. They come into Tropius here. And this matchup, I got really confused here. They actually they went to five here and they actually throw the aerial ace at me. Um definitely Leaf Blade does more, but I was like, oh man, do they have aerial ace stomp or something? So I got a little bit confused there. Uh, because this certainly would have been a much closer matchup. You can see how low my lick tongue gets. Uh, I should be able to control switch here though, because uh, I am ahead. Uh, it's the same amount of, you know, turns to get to body slam as it is to uh, leaf blade, except for the third body slam. And I throw the body slam here. As you can see, look how low I am. The leaf blade would have put me pretty low, and I actually get the lick down, which is really huge for me. And they come into Sand Slash. I decide to go for the Power Whip because I'm not going to make it to two Body Slams. And Power Whip does slightly more damage. 
and uh, they are gonna shadow claw me all the way down I come into greedent and I let this go they end up throwing the ice punch at me and I will shield this one it's gonna be another ice punch they need three ice punches anyway so firm up a little bit here they actually catch on to jellicent uh, but this is this is quite all right here there's not really too much the opponent can do at this fade at, at this point in time i easily survive uh a surf they actually decide to go for the shadow ball here uh maybe i should have thrown here because i guess this could have been an ice beam um anyways all sorts of funky move sets here i throw the aerial ice uh at this uh jellicent they end up no shielding here i throw the dig uh, but there's not really too much the opponent can do at this point in time. Even if they could, uh, you know, I guess if they called the bait there, I'd just throw another aerial ace, so I would be able to make it. Uh, but I end up going 5-0 in the set. Overall, I went 16-9. I think I went three positive sets, two negative ones. But on the first day, I did go four negatives, one positive. But I definitely didn't have the same finesse. So I rewatched uh, Human Catcher's Bugs video. Rewatched my own battles. Got a little bit better understanding of the team. Uh, but this is a really fun team. Thank you very much, Human Catcher Bugger, <laughs> Human Catcher Bug, uh, for the team suggestion. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.